Welcome to Daytona Beach, Florida, home tankster's hot rods, muscle car, and collector car showroom, where we own all of our vehicles. We are not a consignment dealer. If you are watching today's presentation on YouTube, please be sure to check out our website, hangsters.com, so we can find all of our most current inventory. We leave our YouTube videos up at all times, whether they were shot two days ago or two years ago. However, when a vehicle is funded in full, it comes down off of our website, letting you know that particular unit is no longer available. Also, check us out on Instagram. We're gonna have vehicles such as the one we're gonna to present to you right now on our Instagram page prior to them being on our website, prior to these photo and video shoots. Also, there's a cool link to our gift shop here in Daytona, not only on our website, but also on our Instagram. When you click that link, you will have uh, Hankster's apparel, t-shirts, hats, uh, different flags, banners, garage signs, all kinds of cool merchandise for your garage or man cave at home that we ship all over the United States. So check that out as well. Uh, hot commodities have always been Mopar products. This one happens to be a 1969 Plymouth GTX. Non-numbers matching. Uh, it is a 440. It does have power brakes. They are drum brakes, power drum brakes, and it does have power steering. However, uh, no AC on this car. There is a fender tag. Now, I don't have any documentation in terms of when the motor might have been rebuilt, uh, when the car might have been painted, uh, when any kind of restoration work had been done or has been done. Uh, so kind of what you see in this video presentation is what you get and what we know. So let's check out the rest of the car. White in color, black stripes on the hood, black in the cowl area. Uh, GTX designation there on the uh, front grill. Grill's in good condition. Same thing with the chrome on the front bumper. Front bumper's in good shape. Uh, all around your bolt holes there, around your head bolts, uh, no rust. Uh, no pitting in the chrome whatsoever. Uh, good looking front bumper. It looks like looks to be a newer bumper. Uh, the paint on the hood itself uh, is in pretty good shape. It does look maybe a, a little aged. However, uh, it is in very, very good condition, both driver and passenger. You do have the uh, raised uh, portion of the hood there that does have the 440 designation there for uh, what motor is under the hood. Do have your turn signal indicators at the top of both the driver's side and passenger side fender. Uh, paint on the front uh, fender there on the driver's side is in good shape. There is no uh, blistering, fading, cracking of any kind in the white, uh, neither high nor low. There is a tiny little uh, crack there in the uh, black portion of the paint right at the corner of the uh, cowl area there on the driver's side. Do have these expensive Mopar mirrors, both driver and passenger, uh, mounted on top of the door. There uh, is a little bit of age there to the mirror showing. Uh, the chrome is not uh, like you're looking in a mirror. It does have a little bit of age there, but uh, check those out in still photos and in this video presentation. Window glass in the front is really nice. I don't see any chips, cracks. Uh, it's not overly scratched or uh, anything like that, so that's in pretty good shape. Same thing with the uh, vent window glass and the glass on the uh, driver door as well as that huge quarter glass there. Car is really straight, has really nice body lines. You'll get a better uh, sight of that as we look down the uh, driver's side of the car. We'll look at the uh, rear quarter, the driver door, and then of course the front driver fender. Do have your GTX designation there on the uh, driver's side rear quarter. It's going to be the same on the uh, passenger side as it is on the driver's side. Let's take a look inside the car. Door panel, driver's side, top is metal. Metal's in good shape, uh, not pitted, not rusted. Uh, paint's not uh, worn off or flaking off, chipping off, anything like that. Uh, wood grain in the center of the door itself is in great condition. Same thing with the armrest. Uh, look low on your door panels when you're buying an older car. Uh, you'll be able to see whether those door panels are warped or uh, you know screwed in, stapled in improperly. This one is nice and straight. Uh, steering wheel, if you were to ask me, it certainly looks to be uh, probably the original wheel. It does have a crack in the wheel. Um, however, the overall, uh, and not only function, but uh, look of the steering wheel is in pretty good shape. It's not uh, the worst one I've ever seen, not the best one either. Uh, how about the back seat? 
you have rear seat belts. The black vinyl's in good shape, and the same thing with the uh, rear uh, panel area there where your uh, quarter window would roll down. Uh, both sides, the wood grain looks to be in good shape. Uh, floor mats, brand new. They're the expensive ones too, both front and rear. We put them in there. There was no floor mats in the car, and you gotta have floor mats in a car that's nice. Um, carpeting on the uh, driver's side rear is in nice condition. We'll take a look at the uh, driver's side front here as well. Got your uh, GTX logo there in that nice big floor mat that I told you is brand new. There's your uh, carpeting underneath. The uh, rubber uh, floor piece there is in, still in good shape and the uh, carpeting is not uh, faded or discolored or uh, torn. Check out your uh, courtesy lights there in the center console. They do illuminate when you open up the driver door and also the dome light does illuminate as well. We will take a closer look at the interior when I take you guys out on a test drive. So far I don't see anything in the paint that I really need to point out to you guys other than that little spot in the corner I showed you on the driver's side cowl area. Everything else uh, down the rear quarter on the uh, driver door and on the front fender all look to be in really good shape. When I told you that the uh, GTX has big uh, rear quarters here, it also, uh, that calls for a big uh, deck lid and this GTX has it. And it's uh, good, not only from the standpoint of the top looks good, it looks nice and even and flush, uh, but your uh, gaps there to the quarters are not only uniform, but they are also, uh, you see, look at that deck lid, how flush it sits there to the, uh, to the rear quarter both on driver and passenger side. So your uh, deck lid, uh, that, that, that big GTX uh, logoed uh, panel there that fits inside the rear deck lid, uh, for those of you that are familiar with Mopar products, they do have a tendency to want to uh, pit and rust. Not only that uh, deck lid cap there, but also your uh, driver and passenger side tail light bezels. Uh, there are a couple uh, chips in the uh, black paint there, but the chrome's not uh, rusted, pitted, uh, patinaed, uh, both driver and passenger chrome. They're in pretty good shape. I'd say they're like an 8 out of 10. Um, again, a couple spots there in on the driver's side in the black, but uh, nothing there in the chrome in terms of any kind of uh, rust bubbles or pitting or anything like that. So that's good stuff. Uh, your reverse lights down low there in the uh, Rear bumper, again, the uh, rear bumper looks to be as new as the front, and your uh, bumper bolts there aren't all chipped up around where they uh, sit into the bumper itself. There's no uh, rust there, uh, no flaking of the chrome, it's in good shape. The, uh, your, you have your dual exhaust there, of course, coming out from underneath the rear bumper. Let's take a look in the trunk. So uh, your trunk seal looks to be brand new. Trunk mat's in good shape. I promise I don't take spare and spares and jacks out and hide them on you guys. If they are in there, uh, in the still photos and in the video presentation, then you get them with the car. And if they're not, you don't. And this one you don't. But you do get a nice solid trunk. So there's the trunk for you. It's not rusted, rotted, holes. Let's look down the passenger side of the car. Same as the driver's side, uh, car has real nice straight body lines on it, driver and passenger. This is a uh, nice, solid vehicle. Your drip rail moldings on both sides, driver and passenger, are in good shape. You know, sometimes when people install those, put them on, they uh, have a tendency to want to uh, crimp them too hard or improperly and put dents in them or uh, stuff like that. These ones are uh, put on real, real nice. Let's take a look in the passenger side. Again, it pretty much mirrors your driver's side. Uh, the paint at the top of the door is in good shape. Your wood grain in the uh, center there is in good condition. Your uh, door panel at the bottom is not all warped or deteriorated. Uh, courtesy lights illuminate again in the center console. It's an automatic car, by the way, uh, not a four speed. So uh, the vinyl on the uh, driver and passenger side Bucket seats, both in great shape, and we already showed you the back. And again, there's a lot of still photos on our website of the interior of the vehicle as well. So check those out uh, <clears throat> to get a good indication of your interior quality. Uh, take a step back from the car. I told you guys that you have a GTX logo there on the uh, passenger side rear quarter. 
just the same as it is on the driver's side. Uh, all four wheels on the car are in pretty decent shape. We have uh, up close still photos of those wheels uh, on our website, so take a look at that up real close. Um, wheels are overall in pretty good condition. Got a Pentastar there down low on the uh, body of the car. Uh, that's there in good shape. I don't see any uh, kind of blistering, cracking, fading, um, any areas of concern there in the white paint uh, or the black paint, uh, other than, like I said, that one spot that I showed you. That's really all that I see that, you, that would, in my mind, uh, be a cause for concern or something you to look at. You know, it's just a little crack there that somebody's going to point out if they come see the car in person. So I will point it out in this video. Really nice quality 69 GTX. It has a fender tag, has a 440. It's not a numbers matching car. Uh, has real nice black uh, interior, center console automatic. Uh, car has a lot going for it. Uh, GTXs and Roadrunners are a hot commodity these days, that's for sure. We do most of our business here uh, at Hangster's Hot Rod Sight Unseen. That's why if you check out our website, we have close to 100 photos of every single car. We have this 20 to 30 minute video presentation done on every single car. We do all our uh, presentations uniform, whether we're presenting a 2011 Jeep Wrangler or we're doing a 1969 GTX. The reason we spend so much time on our specification sheets for our website and on uh, these video presentations that you watch on YouTube and on our website and take so many high resolution still photos that you can click on and blow up real big and look at on the computer in front of you as big as you can get them, uh, however your screen is, screen size, it's because we do the majority of our business sight unseen. However, I do encourage you guys definitely, if it's your first class of car purchase especially, visit our showroom in Daytona Beach. I am around these cars every single day. You hear me say it, I buy them, I sell them, I drive them, I work on them. I know their, uh, their, their tendencies, their flaws, their deficiencies. So I know a good car when I see one, I know a bad car when I see one, and I don't know an average car when I see one. But my opinion of good, better, best may not be the same as yours. So you'll definitely want to uh, to come to our Daytona Beach showroom and check it out in person, especially you know for a car like this that we're gonna be asking good money for. We all work hard for our money and nobody wants to waste it or feel that they uh, didn't get the best bang for their buck. So that's why I encourage you guys to come in person and check out whatever car you might be interested in. With that being said, I do tell you that I, I say this over and over in these videos, come in person and yet eight, nine out of every 10 buys, every 10 uh, cars we sell, I never get to meet the buyer face to face. We do it all through text message, through videos, through photos, through email, uh, through phone calls and, and so on and so forth. So, But again, we encourage you to come in person and check out whatever vehicle you might be interested in. We have a beautiful facility uh, and we love having people here fly in from all over the country and check out our inventory. Let's take the 69 GTX around the building. We will see which one of the two lifts back there is open. We'll throw it in the air and check out the undercarriage. Now we'll do everybody's favorite part, which is drive it. Underneath our 1969 Plymouth GTX, there are drum brakes up front. It is not the numbers matching 440 motor. It is out of a 74. The block is uh, dated 9-24-74. So it is not the numbers matching motor. Oil pan looks dry as well as the side of the block. Flywheel's covered. Exhaust pipes look good coming back off the exhaust manifolds. Tranny pan staring you right in the face. You can see that's nice and dry. Speedo cable. Tail shaft seal. I point those out because those are your problematic areas on you know, automatic transmissions. So that's where they're going to leak is uh, there's no ring in the uh, speedo cable that usually has a tendency to dry out. Uh, tail shaft seal, you know, 10 bucks, $10 seal, and then of course your tranny pan gasket, but this one's nice and dry. Uh, so we did not undercoat this car. This is the way we bought it. You know, this is, uh, a lot of this to me looks factory. Some of it may have been done in 74, for example. I don't know, we didn't do it though. But uh, the floor pans are solid throughout the car um, and do not look to be uh, patched or uh, sectioned in. This is a nice, uh, nice clean car and a nice solid car. <clears throat> Continuing back, 
The frame rails look good here on the uh, driver's side, on the passenger side as well. Drum brakes in the rear, same as the front. Uh, your Flowmaster mufflers here look to be in good shape, both uh, driver and passenger. Leaf springs in the rear look good here. So this is your uh, this is a good indicator for you here. See up here, there's the inner fender well and the outer fender well, and that's metal to metal right there. There's no uh, there's no bondo there, and it's the same thing on the driver's side. Uh, I don't know how well you guys can see staring up into the sun, but there's a little lip there that's metal to metal, so that's good. Uh, that's a good indication when the rear uh, quarters there aren't packed with mud behind the wheels. A uh, nice large gas tank to power this 440. Good looking car. Roadrunners and GTXs are hot right now and we have this one here at Hankster's. If you need financing on this particular car, the collector car lenders we work with will do up to a 10 year loan on this vehicle. 10% down of the purchase price is going to be your minimum and then the remaining balance is going to be spread over the 5 to 10 year period, whatever you get approved for. Approval is based on obviously your credit score, debt to income ratio, time on the job, monthly income, etc. Once you have an approval in place, you can contact us, put a down payment and typically the uh, lenders we work with can fund us within 48 hours if you're quick on your paperwork. Also, uh, if you take this car out for 10 years and you decide you want to pay it off in two, you're not going to get penalized for doing so. There's no prepayment penalties with the uh, lenders we work with. If you're a cash buyer, we accept certified bank check or bank wire transfer. Of course, if you're coming to visit us here in Daytona, you can certainly bring us cash too. That does still spend these days. However you are funding us, whether it is through cash or whether you have a lender in place, uh, once the vehicle is funded in full, the vehicle gets put into a pre-delivery inspection process. This process is recorded. You get a copy of it on the keychain along with all the photos we took in the showroom and this video presentation you are watching right now. Once the guys tell me it's good to go and it's through inspection, we call a carrier for pickup. Typically, we can have a carrier here within 24 to 48 hours. And then, of course, delivery time is going to be based on where you're at in the country or in the world for that matter. And, of course, if you're coming to get the car yourself and drive it home or trailer it home, we'll let you know when it's ready. And you can come pick it up from our beautiful showroom here in Daytona. Let's set this awesome 69 GTX down on the ground. I'm going to take it out on the test drive and I'm going to show you guys how it runs. Okay, inside of our 1969 GTX, I know we don't have a horn. We have that already over there at the shop to be put in we just got to uh, get it over to the shop so um and the wipers the motor's good but the uh wiper switch is not so we have those two items on order um turn signals driver's side passenger side those both work uh temp gauge is down low here 200 so we're gonna go uh, run this uh, car. The, the one up here is not functioning. Uh, let's see. Dash pad's in good condition. The rear view mirror's brand new. Headliner's in great shape. The overall condition of the upholstery's fantastic. Both front seat and back seat. Center console's in pretty good condition. Uh, your your uh, glass there on your uh, speedo and uh, gauge package there that's all clear it's not all cracked up uh, there are a few uh, this to me would be uh, what I think is the original steering wheel it has a crack in it right there and it's a little faded around there but overall the interior of the car is in great condition it really is so uh, let's take it out on a little drive and see how this uh, 69 GTX runs out so we are inside our GTX. It's running fantastic. Uh, speedometer's functioning just like it should. And it's on the money. Uh, the car drives fantastic. Uh, real nice ride to it. Steering's nice and tight. Look at how nice and tight that steering is. No vibrations in the car whatsoever. Uh, so person in front of us is stopping. You see our drum brakes are stopping the car car has nice acceleration catching up to the little Honda up here I don't want to end up uh, 
having him as a hood ornament on this beautiful car, so we'll slow it down for now. We will try to get it up through the gears here for you uh, once we turn the corner. But uh, real nice running car. Let go of the wheel here on the straightaway, show you. Car tracks nice and straight. It's not pulling one side or the other. Motor has nice power behind it. Zero uh, drivetrain issues, vibrations. Again, see four wheel drum brakes. I just stopped perfectly fine. Take it around the corner here and. fun holy cow what a nice setup motor I definitely left a patch of rubber back there it's still smoking <laughs> awesome car look at this 65 miles an hour no hands on the wheel we are in a 45 here so I'm just gonna slow it down a little bit Real nice running car. So our temp still 190, like 190, 200, which is about operating temperature for a 440. Believe it or not, we are in February in Daytona and it is 80 degrees today. So it's a beautiful, beautiful day for a test drive. Beautiful day to take out this GTX. Really nice running car. 386-944-9219 is our contact phone number here in Daytona Beach. Hanksters.com is our website. We're going to put at least 80 photos of this car, if not more, up today, along with this video presentation we're doing for you right now. By the way, here we are at idle. We aren't uh, spitting, sputtering, stalling out, anything like that. At full retail price, this car includes shipping in the lower 48 United States on an enclosed carrier. It also includes a 12-month, 12,000-mile powertrain warranty. The warranty covers engine, transmission, and rear end. It is good at any ASE certified facility in the United States. So it's only major mechanical breakdowns. It's not a bumper-to-bumper -bumper warranty. So it will not cover, uh, you know, batteries, alternators, tires, brakes, things like that. It's just going to cover internal components of the engine, the transmission, and the rear end. And again. You don't have to take a ton, some special hot rod dealership, uh, you know, restoration center, anything like that. You could probably take it to the same person that works on your daily driver. The price of the car is negotiable. However, if we negotiate the price of this GTX, the warranty comes off. The warranty is good at full retail price only. Also, we can help you uh, arrange the shipping, you know, put you in touch with a broker that can get you a carrier that can take this car to you. However, you will pay them when the car arrives with check or cash. They do not accept credit cards. Also, if you're a collector and you have your own trailer, you're more than welcome to visit us here in Daytona, pick the car up yourself. And if you're local to us here in Central Florida, you can certainly come to our uh, Daytona Beach showroom and drive the car home. We would love to earn your business, add you to our growing customer base, not only throughout the United States, but throughout the entire world. This is a 1969 Plymouth GTX 440 car, and it is available at Hangster's Hot Rods of Daytona Beach. Please check us out.